welcome to the swear corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome you welcome to the channel okay uh, this might be a very long video but i'm coming to you with my eyes already done that is a good portion of it i must just clean here and my eyebrows also i already have an eyebrow routine go see how i do my eyebrows i decided to do my eyebrows because we're testing up a few new products and i'm excited it doesn't include anything with the eyes so i wanted to get that out of the way but so let's get this whole situation started before we go into getting our makeup done just going to take you how i did my eyes i'm only going to show you the one eye so we save a lot of time so i'm going to quickly show you how i got this eye look segment is literally that we are testing the elizabeth arden flawless finish skincare foundation with hyaluronic acid and this is in the shade 540w my skin my skin is more warm. there we go that's basically what this looks like i really hope she is my shade because she's the only one i have and I have waited for a while to get this product because this is expensive guys. This is like $639 I bought this one in clicks during the Black Friday sale um, That they had so hence me buying this foundation um, They had like the two for three products and you buy the cheaper ones free and then you do then the foundation okay cool as part of this was a bit art and thingy i also got this is like the cheaper product is what i paid for i got the uh, sunscreen and i'm going to apply the sunscreen first because i did not apply it before okay cool so i did not get a elizabeth arden uh, primer at all because their products are expensive so right now i'm going to use um the l'oreal infallible mattifying base so she is of course an older product i've used it here before not in the recent i think months though 
this foundation doesn't really give us a lot of information according to the boxy here it just says it gives you a medium and buildable coverage natural finish for all skin types it says the skincare meets skin perfection in a nourishing foundation with hyaluronic acid with vitamin c and e this foundation delivers up to 24 hours of coverage without settling into fine lines you to use smooth onto face it's actually not so bad not as overwhelming as i thought it would be during the application i don't know i've waited so long to use elizabeth arden because of how expensive it is that in my mind i don't know i maybe i wanted like rainbows and fireworks and the whole shit bank took all off when i apply this foundation <laughs> oh, goodness that's literally what i expected but it's not what i'm getting it's just it is a buildable foundation today we will not build it because i feel like i've already applied enough product as you can tell i didn't really put under directly here under my eye because i'm gonna go in there with concealer and i'm not putting a lot of product on my nose because we're gonna go in there with contour as well so yeah we don't want to do a lot so it doesn't look so bad honestly it really doesn't is it like a perfect shade match i think it's a little bit lighter the way that i'm seeing it on the camera in the mirror it looks like it's settling into my skin very nicely i feel like i need to put on a layer but i'm going to oh i will put on a layer i will do a layer and then i'll go in with a blending brush and i'll just put a diff here on my hand see it even thing is nicely onto my hand and i'll then use that and then just like here around my lip and then use a little bit more it's very runny i think i'm a shake it manga maybe i'll get more So, like that, after 500 years of blending, does it look like we are there? Are we there with this foundation? Do you think we're there with this foundation? Anyway, that's basically that. Hmm. I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about this foundation. I don't know. I really expected fireworks. I am here expecting fireworks. And I'm not getting fireworks. Anyway, let's conceal. Um, I'm going to use L'Oreal more than a concealer, infallible concealer, because this is also a very new concealer that I have not used, even though you've seen me use concealers before, or like L'Oreal concealers before. This is a very, very light one. So I'm going to be extra gentle using it. And just put it in most remote areas that i need to put this product i will not contour with i will not contour with a foundation i'll just leave it this way because i want to contour with just the powder i'm going to use this fluffy blending brush uh, blending brush this is the rk by kiss large eyeshadow brush i like how thick it is this one's usually good for blending in in concealers especially if you want full cover this brush is here from kiss and i'm going right into the v shape that i need go to my nose i know it's a little bit light more than i would usually do for my under eye Going to leave it there and then use the same thing on the other side. I mean, do the same thing on the other side. Mm. 
you have to have a lot of patience when you use this type of products on your nose i mean <laughs> Not just on your nose, but when you highlight and use something much lighter, you have to have a lot of patience because you don't want to move the product in areas where it does not need to be because of how light it is. So you have to do it very gently and then you have to also do it very patiently. Literally trust the process. Right, and I'm going to go in with a blender and I'm going to blend the edges of this concealer with the side that I use to blend the foundation simply because it will blend out then the harsh edges of the concealer. Can you can tell the different look and then there. See? So we are just at the edges. We're not going all the way in, it's just the edges. That's all we need so that everything can be blended out. Alright, now just do the same. The edge of the brush here up my nose. There. Now I'm going with the brush again to just make sure, a small blending brush, to just make sure I cut everything that needed to be concealed nicely. I'm not going to use loose powders today because I have this um, concealers I've been trying to try, not concealers, powders I've been dying to try out. Um, they are from Maybelline. So I'm going to take the lightest one. It is the 332 Golden Caramel. And that's basically what they look like. And it's she's very light. And I'm going to use that to set my under eye with this fluffy thing that it comes with. Go in there and then put that under my eye. It's not oh cool. It's very yellowy. I like that. So it balances this light concealer that I've used very nicely. I like to use the spongy thing is to apply the under eye powder compared to using um the blender or a brush i just feel like it gives me better product application and setting than a brush or a blender would have and also the blender i feel would like eat my powder here do the same on this side I have not used any concealer on the top of my lip but now I applied the powder because I don't really want that much of a highlighter on my on the top of my lip but I still want it to look a little bit light because this is like my the, the T area that I like a bit lightened that's why I apply the, the light setting powder on the top of my lip and at the bottom of my lip there by my chin. As you can tell, it's already giving me like a nice like V-shaped from my eyes to my chin. That's the kind of look I like when it comes to using setting powder. That looks nice. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the other one. That one was 332 Golden Caramel. Now I'm going to use 355 Pecan. And use an angled brush and see if this will be a good bronzer powder because i don't want it dark i want it almost warming up but then you can still see 
but that area is a little bit darker than you know with powder is possible for when you really don't want to do the whole snatchery with the um, foundations or the extra concealers you can literally do both but the other one is contouring is when you snatch your face so much this one is just yes um, you're getting the contour but you're getting almost like a very natural contour instead of like cut like i usually do when i go for like a full face as you can see this is a little bit it even very close to my skin tone i just feel like my skin is much warmed up and then whatever is left i'll just go in here with where i put the light powder to set and just make sure i also get those edges mixed in nicely so there are no harsh lines on my face so i'll go around the areas where i already concealed just around not within just around to just blend out the edges So that it looks more like a natural highlight than it a more clinical one there right so oh 355 pecan looked very nice so now i'm going to go in with 340 cappuccino and cappuccino is a little bit lighter than pecan and but it's a nice set it's darker it's more between the two it's much darker as you can see not really i don't know if you can see it i want the same brush i'm just going to go in those areas where i didn't do anything like here because this is very close to my skin tone and then set those and set a brush i like to use a brush when it comes to using setting my face because i feel like it gives me a nice finish it just gives me a very smoother finish i feel right it still gives me that contour but it doesn't give me the harsh lines just those three areas there with this one i'll go in there as well and then tap it off and then go into my concealer the area that i used to bake just over it to make sure that whatever harsh line is within there or powder that's left i just mix the two to make sure i remove all that i know for you you're like why is she going over so much it doesn't really take a lot that's why we keep removing from the brush but this smooths out the thing especially in daylight like the difference between how makeup looks on the camera like it might really look nice and then you, you, i go out and you can see all the harsh lines but if you're not like you don't use a filter on your photos or you don't um you're going to go out into natural light those lines will be seen so you just make sure that you blend out everything nicely i'm gonna go back into pecan because i forgot to contour around my nose just that i bet you can already you can see this line here this is more of an angled brush and i'm just using it to just that line i would open it also set there it's getting dark in this room tell me what you want to do just warm up this area as well when i look in your eyes i don't know how but it feels like i'm drunk on you it's almost like you made me fly when i look at you smile i don't know how but it feels like i'm drunk on you it feels like i'm drunk on you it feels like so everything is blended out very nicely right i think i like the way that this looks it looks so cute okay i'm going to go in with this blush from nyx i haven't used it in a while and i'm going to with the same angled brush guys i like my this thing is my favorite angled brush like i'm probably gonna get myself like three more of these brushes because i really love using them and i'll just take them for like strictly blush or something because i love them anyway so i'm gonna put a little bit of blush this blush is a nice one just between the contour and the bake situation this is a nice matte um foundation actually it's not so bad and i like the fact that i'm using all these like new products i know i like to put blush on my nose i don't know why i just love it I'm not someone who's used to having pimples, but I have a pimple here now. I don't know why it's there. Why I decided not to come visit, but it's there. 
annoying me. Okay, so we're almost done here, and I'm just gonna put mascara on my lash to prepare them, to prep them for the lashes. Guys, you already know how I put on lashes, so I'm going to do this off camera. I feel like I'm gonna darken my lower lid instead of like making it light. Um, I have a black pencil here. I'm gonna wear my spoolie thingy key and the bottom lash just pencil. I don't have a nice black thingy and I like this pencil. It's soft, it doesn't irritate my eye. And I'm going to just go in with a little bit of the darker shadow to blend out the harsh line. Mystery, it's more purple, dark, dark brown than anything. But yeah, it's darker, so I'm going to use that. Infallible magic setting spray, long lasting setting, um, all day matte finish, and yeah, I had it for a while but I've not used it so I decided to use it today just so I can spray because I put powder on my face. And then I'll come on going with the lashes and then that's it. So here we go, let's just get into the final touches now. Um, I'm going to use this all women highlighting palette from Foshini, it is like four highlighting palettes and it's called Moonlight. But I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room It's kinda crowded here but I know you see me too Everybody singing low, oh, everybody singing low oh. I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way Just simply going to go in with my um, Elizabeth Arden lip balm. It's cute. And then use this. Give me a set. So this is basically the final product using the foundation as a of course the main guest and then everything else i've tried it looks good the powders i really love i love these powders i just i love these powders why do i think about the the foundation it's not all fireworks it's not it's not fireworks i guess it's just to say i use the elizabeth arden foundation it's matte not all that matte it is buildable so you can definitely build on it if you want more more full cover if you want a very light finish i think it's one of those nice ones um, it sits very nicely on my skin. I don't really have like uh, any skin issues that I can be like, oh, it covered my acne or my dark spots. I honestly, I don't have, which actually gives me a little bit of a disadvantage in terms of like testing this because I can't test it on myself on like dark marks. But like, oh, my dark marks are faded. Not. And my skin is smooth enough in that sense to like eat the foundation properly, if that makes sense. <laughs> Usually it does. I mean, with the foundation test that we've done, we've, we've covered that. Oh, my eye is water ring. So that's basically what I feel. It's a nice foundation. I'm glad I finally tried it. So I don't have to be like, oh, I really want to try it. I tried it. Um, was it worth me trying it? Yeah, in some sense, because at least I've done it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Elizabeth Arden foundation. It's not all the fireworks I expected. I like the idea of the hyaluronic acid in it though. Um, that's one of the things that I like about this foundation, the vitamin C and E. You can never not have enough vitamins in your products. Please don't forget to like, comment and then subscribe to the channel. The button is just down here and it's free. Please join the channel, help it grow. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. Yay! 
um yeah hope you're enjoying vlogmas and all the content we're putting out every day don't forget to share it with your friends don't leave me don't forget to honestly leave me a comment because i know you watched even my friends would sms me and be like i watched please put the comment in there and be like i watched yay love you guys um i'll see you in the next one